Marcella, these last few weeks we've seen more tents popping up here at 11th and Madison. Volunteers say the people coming in may not even be from Springfield. They see people from all over coming looking for a safe place to stay. What used to be an empty lot is now a bustling community and it's growing by the day. People are getting dropped off here. People are saying, oh, well, they've got everything that they need over there, shower facilities, tent to sleep in, people are dropping off food. Julie Benson with the group Helping the Homeless says she's seen people dropped off from as far away as Chicago and St. Louis. Ward 2 Alderman Sean Gregory says he visits Tent City all the time and thinks this expansion will stop on its own. Is there a point where the city will intervene? I don't think the city will have to intervene. I think the people, they are all very, very respectful of each other's space. But Benson says people have been bringing unnecessary junk to the area, so she wouldn't be surprised if the city did have to get involved. At some point, the city is going to say, OK, enough, um, and they're going to have to um, because we, we can't let it be a dumping ground. We've been asking the city of Springfield for their concrete plan for the homeless for weeks now. Mayor Jim Langfelder even addressing the topic in his State of the City address Wednesday. As unsightly as it is, what has been called Tent City has shown us is that street homeless want their own space with a simple roof over their head. Gregory says a plan for winter will most likely come first, but if the city doesn't take long-term action, Tent City could make a comeback in the spring. As soon as they're able to come back out, then probably will come back out. There are a lot of agencies in Springfield working to get the people of Tent City into shelters for this winter, but they say the real solution is long-term housing. Live in Springfield, I'm Jordan Elder, Fox, Illinois.